Okay, I just downloaded the image that I sent to myself. And I'm gonna open Adobe Illustrator, which is this AI app and it's, it's orange. I'm gonna make a new one. And I'm gonna call this Stamp. Um, and uh, I'm gonna go into my downloads. And I'm just gonna drag my new image right into Adobe Illustrator. And I'm gonna make it a lot, lot smaller because it came in the actual size. You could also send it to yourself much smaller, theoretically. This is really huge. Another thing I could do is I could do transform. Um, and I could scale it to make it a lot smaller. So I might say 25%. Okay. Um, and now uh, it's already pretty contrasted. If I didn't think the contrast was good enough, I might go in and edit it a little bit. Um, okay. Now I'm going to hit Live Trace. And I'm going to hit Simple Trace. You can already see like it took out all the shadow, so it should trace it. And then I'm gonna hit simple trace, expand. And then when all these little dots come up, then I know that it has traced it simply. Uh, and then I'm gonna hit file, save. And I'm gonna make sure it's as an SVG file. Now I'm gonna go to um, easel. I'm gonna make a new file on easel. I'm gonna close my old one. And then I'm gonna go to import SVG. Um, where did I, what did I save it as? Stamp SVG, open. And then here's my stamp. And you can look at it and see that this in this version it cut all the way through. So I'm gonna say, I don't want my stamp to be that deep. Maybe just, Maybe just that deep. Uh, I'm gonna check and see how big it is. This looks like it's three inches across, um, which is perfect. If I wanted to make a bunch of this stamp, I could copy it and paste it. Oh, no, wait. I could copy the whole thing and paste it a bunch of times. If I wanted to make duplicates of the stamp, that's one thing I could do.